on Bubbles here. Gonna answer the questions you guys sent in. I'm all fucking excited. I love questions. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Here we go. So, Steve Kraus asks, how many kitties would it take to take down a shed hawk? Very good question, Steve. It depends on, first, the size of the shed hawk. You know, I've seen them get up to that big versus the size of the kitty. You know, if it's a big shed hawk, it's gonna take, you know, if the kitties are big, it would take a couple of them. But if they're kittens you're talking about, it's gonna take about 40 of them to pile on the cocksucker's back and take them down. Then again, it could be a little tiny shit hawk and a big kitty. So in that case, you know, one big kitty could just pile drive a tiny shit hawk. Excellent question. Dan Adamic, will the green bastard ever be back? Oh, we're gonna get hit by a fucking car here. Let's move over. Come on through. All right, Dan Adamic. It's a fucking weird name. Will the green bastard ever be back? Also a good question. The green bastard's actually never left. I still put my green bastard suit on all the time. Just maybe not when the camera's around, but I love putting it on and fucking hammering people. So yes. Jessica Lee asks, how's the grocery cart repair business going? Well, I'll tell you, Jessica, it's not going very good. Because I'll, on the TV here, people think it's very cool to be hauling, cotton, hauling shopping carts and, you know, selling them back to the grocery stores. So now it's fucking hard for me to find them. It's very slim pickings down at the lake. Anthony Roberts, what time of year do you typically get the most frisky? It's another good question. Another good question. I'd say around this time of year, you know, summertime, that's when I really, you know, things start really pointing up. In the winter, it's too cold, you know, your thing gets all frozen up and stuff, and it's hard to get the blood flowing to it. Wendy Whalen, when are you going to get yourself a girlfriend? Well, that depends, Wendy. What are you doing? Send me some, send me some info. If you're looking for a fella, Bubbles here. I'm ready to rock anytime you are. Jason Brown says, Bubs, if you had the power to travel time, where and when would you go? That's fucking simple. Without a doubt, I would go back in time, back to the launch of Apollo 11. Apollo 13, actually, would be even better. And I would go a couple days early, run some kind of a distraction scenario, sneak up into the capsule, Fucking boom, bubbles would be in space. I'd definitely sneak on to the Apollo 13 launch. Andrew Anastasio says, hey bubs, love your work. My question is, my uncle that I live with has many, many cats, so how do I get them to like me and stop pissing on my clothes? That is a fucked up question, Andrew. If the cats are pissing on your clothes, obviously you're being a dickweed to them. So step one, stop being a dickweed to kitties. You're obviously not being nice to them, otherwise they wouldn't be pissing on your stuff. Zach Gao asks, what's your opinion on dogs? Well, I think you know my opinion on dogs. I think they're dirty, mangy, fucking stupid animals. I mean, I'm not mean to them, I'll pet them and stuff, but I got no interest in them. They're, they're not very smart, and they don't clean themselves very well. Juanita Wells, if you were guaranteed a career out of the following, which one would you choose and what would you call yourself? A NASA astronaut, an ice road trucker, or a WWF professional wrestler? Oh, that's tough. Ice road trucker I would eliminate immediately because I don't fucking like dangerous situations in trucks. I prefer to drive on roads that aren't covered in ice, so fuck that right out of the gate, I'd probably have to pick NASA astronaut because that's something I've wanted to do since I was a little guy. And my space nickname, I don't know what it would be. I mean, I've always gone by Commander Bubbles, so probably that. Rachel M. Coolen, do you often wish your parents would come back to the park? Well, that's a nice question to throw at a fella who was fucking abandoned. 
I don't know if I want them to come back or not. It's been a long time. I think I'm just fine with Ricky and Julian. They're my family and that's who I don't really know. David Bjorklund, describe your dream shed. Oh, fuck, that would be probably, you know, I'd like a two-floor shed that's probably, you know, 800 square feet of floor. Wait now. No, not 800. That's fucking huge. Just like 80. 80 square feet of floor, like a 10 by 8. Two floors. Like that, with little stairs, you know, a little spiral staircase, and maybe a rooftop patio. That would be decent. Brad Lee, would you ever star in another one of J-Rock's Grease films? Well, I'm not proud that I was in J-Rock's Grease films, to be honest with you. So, no, I probably wouldn't, unless it was an emergency situation where I had no cat food, and I needed money. Then I probably would. Jessica McKinney says, are you still going to try to get to space? Yes, I am. I'm never going to give up trying to get to space. I almost won a contest to go to space last year, and then some fucking guy from Boston won, some smart guy. So, I'm still going to try. I think Axe, you know, the stuff you spray on your, you know, you do this with the spray. I think they're running a contest right now, so I'm going to try to get in that one. If anybody from Axe is watching this, I'd like to enter and go to space, please. Um, Kyle Wolfel. Wolfel? I don't fucking know. If you could wing a piss jug at someone in Sunnyvale, who would it be? What would I like to wing a piss jug at? Really nobody that lives here, but I mean if, you know, if Cyrus was driving through, I'd fucking love to crank one right in the window of that fucking shitty Corvette he drives and just coat him in piss. That would be fantastic. George Drivis. Hey Bubbles, how do you keep your shed warm in the winter? You must freeze your balls off. Well, actually, George, it's pretty, I got her pretty airtight in there. By the time winter comes, I take that spray foam. Ricky goes and steals me a couple cans of spray foam. I do the edges, and I got a heater in there, and I got a little knitted thing that I put all over my balls, like a little ball cozy. That's how I do that. Nathan Anderson, Bubbles, do you ever think about becoming a father? No. I don't need that right now. I can't afford it. I've got kitties and, you know, I don't need that. Hey, how's it going? Hello. How you doing? Hi. Yeah, so that's all the questions I got on this sheet. So, I might as well uh, wrap her up here, but send in more. I fucking love answering the thing, so keep them coming. Hey, Ricky, what's going on? Hey, bubs. Need something to eat. You want anything? Around the gas station, get a fucking gas station sub. Yeah, I'll fucking rock a gas station sub. You got any money? No, I'm just gonna fucking steal it. Can you steal me one? You can me a picture with me. Me and you. You want a picture, do you? Yeah. All right, let's get a picture. Who can hold this? I can, bud. Let's go. Who can take a picture of He can. The camera fella there. He's gonna, he can operate two cameras. Yeah, here, I'll show you. How? See this button right here? Just yeah. touch that and it will work. Got it. What's your name again? Malachi. Hey Malachi, Bubbles, how you doing? Good. Yeah, nice smokes to meet on you. you. Got any cigarettes for Ricky? Here, look at your camera. Here we go. Bud. Three, two, one, cheesy. There you go, bud. There you go, dude. Now I got a picture of you. There you cool. go. I can get you. Alright, we're gonna go steal some gas station subs. Well, Guys, next time.